Okay, now let's get into line recording. That's like sampling a drum loop from a CD. First thing we need to do is go to the front face to source select and switch it from mic to line. Just like that. Second thing we need to do is set the sampling threshold. What's a threshold? Good question. Sampling threshold, here's what it is. You need to set a level so that when you press record for the second time to actually sample something, it doesn't actually sample anything until the level gets loud enough to pass through the threshold. Because if it were set too low, then it would immediately start recording, even though you haven't pressed play on your CD player, giving you a big blank space at the beginning of your sample. So you set a threshold, the audio ends, is down here, it doesn't get loud enough, and then once it does, meaning the sample starts playing, then it starts recording because it passes through the threshold. Here's how you do it. You turn off the unit and you hold down record and cancel while turning it on. You have to hold them down for a little bit of time until a number shows up on your screen. By default, it's set at one. So let's take a look. I'll turn off the unit, hold down record and cancel, turn it on and keep holding them down. It says 202 on the screen. Then I let go and there it is, it's on one. So I need to take my control knob and I'm gonna set it to two, that's a good threshold to set it to, so then my CD doesn't sample until it actually plays the loop and passes through my threshold. Okay? So then you can press record to get out of there, and I'm ready to actually record. So, press record. I'm ready to go. It shows that my threshold is set at 2. I'm going to sample to, well, let's go with uh, bank A, and I'm going to go with the hi-fi grade. That's the highest level because there is hi-fi standard, lo-fi 1, and lo-fi 2. And hi-fi is at 31.25 kilohertz. And lo-fi 2 is all the way down at 3.91 kilohertz. And the other two are in between there. And you have that in your manual as well to show you the actual numbers. Now, let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to set up exactly how we want to sample. We're going to use our black function buttons. I want a hi-fi sample on pad 1 of bank A. I'm going to use a mono sample. It's fine. I'm going to set it to trigger instead of gate, and I'll discuss that in a little bit. I'm going to set it to loop instead of one shot. I'll discuss that as well. And normal, because I want it to go forward and not in reverse. So I'm going to play in my sample so I can get my level. OK, now remember, I need to go for the control knob to set the recording level. Mine is peaking right now. So I'll move the knob. So it peaks just a little bit every once in a while, maybe on the loudest thing. OK? Now I'm ready to start recording. All I have to do is press record and then press record again to stop it. So let's do that. I'm stopping it. It's going to be ready. I'll press record. It's waiting. So when I press the button, it'll start recording. Okay, press record again. Now let's see what I got. Just like that.